Well, you know what? The, today's draft experience, a little bit different than it was back in the day. Lap was able to sit back with uh, Ted Karras about his draft day experience. The Bengals center, Ted Karras, two-time Super Bowl champion and a leader of men extraordinaire. Ted, we appreciate you carving time, my man. Well, thank you so much for having me, Dave. Draft night, always a, always a weird night for the current players, but very <laughs> exciting to hey, get some new teammates. So first round in the books, second and third round. What was your biggest memory of your draft day or draft night or draft weekend or the draft in general? The drafts in general, well, you know, I didn't even, you know, going into my senior season, no one had talked to me. I was coming off an ACL, uh, ended up having a good season. I didn't really know my pro prospects, knew I wanted to play, knew I could play. But my agent, I ended up signing with an agent, Jeremy Newberry. He's fantastic. He played 11 years at center for the yeah. Niners. But, yeah. um, great agent, great friend. Um, but he told me your only chance of getting drafted is Patriots in the sixth round. So I, uh, I took that. And then ended up deciding to throw a humongous day three draft day party at my parents' house. <laughs> there you go. With about uh, like 200, 250 people there. And all day, I mean, I'm sweating it out. I don't really know if I'm going to get drafted or not. Um, and the Lions kept calling. You know, you get a phone call. You pick it up right away. You're excited. Everyone get quiet in the party. And they just keep saying they're about to take me, and they never do. So, you know, we're coming down to – the Patriots had the last pick of the six. They had two other picks in the sixth round earlier. They picked two linebackers. They had picked guard Joe Tooney, plays for the Chiefs now in the third round earlier. Yeah. And I'm I'm sitting there getting my consolation speech ready to go for, for everyone that came out to to watch me get drafted. And uh, you know, a five oh eight number pops up on the screen on my phone and it was uh, Bill Belichick said you're going to be a Patriot, and what a what a glorious moment that was! Changed my life. I'm so grateful to Bill and, and Mr. Kraft for for giving me a chance, and it ended up being just an absolutely fantastic evening with uh, basically everyone I knew in my life up to that point. So very very grateful that that happened. So not a surprise that Detroit was obviously interested. Your uncle, Alex Karras, great player with the Detroit Lions. You've got history, family history with the uh, Detroit Lions. And how frustrating was that, that they're like, okay, you know, sit tight. Uh, it, it could be it could be this round, could be this round. And then, and then it wouldn't happen. I mean, how frustrating was that for you? Yeah, it was just more of just like, man, it was like a highs and lows. I kept wanting to just be done with it so I could enjoy the time with my fam and kind of plan out your life. I mean, you're it's what an interesting scenario it is just sitting there waiting for your phone to ring. Um, and then you're just going to be assigned to one of 32 cities across America. You have no idea what your future brings. It's a very vulnerable feeling. You're seeing your peers get picked and realizing their dreams and Obviously, being a late round guy, I was picked 221. I saw 220 people get drafted before me. So, um, you know, it's a it's a very vulnerable but cool feeling, man. Being in the NFL draft, I you know I'll never forget it, and I'll never take that for granted. I'm so grateful that uh, for the opportunities I've been presented in my career. Yeah, what was it like uh, when you first went uh, to New England to compete? I'm sure Bill Belichick. A lot of a lot of coaches. I mean, coach speak. Everybody has an equal shot, and that that is, that is the case. I don't want to diminish that, but a guy like Bill Belichick, I would think he really means that. I mean, he doesn't care. Paul Brown was like that. Paul Brown said, "I don't care how you got here. I don't care what round you were drafted in. I don't care where you played before coming here. It's all about what you do here. Everybody's back to square one. Everybody's on equal footing." And he meant it. And I'm sure Bill Belichick did as well. Yeah, so I drove out there uh, with a buddy a couple days later, and then the Patriots, it was first day, I put on like a blazer and some jeans and a nice shirt, some dress shoes, thought I'd look good, sign a little contract, get a little signing bonus money. I was jacked up. Yeah. And so I signed my contract. It's probably like 8.30 in the morning. I'm one of the later they, – they give you like a time slot to come in, and mine was 8.30, and they shuffle me into the locker room and into the turf room. And so I'm thinking we're going to do an orientation or something. And then I look around, all my draft mates are in workout gear. And they just blow the whistle and start the warm-up. So <laughs> I thought they were 
kind of put in a uh, early test. You know, you hear the stories about New England up to that point, and so I do the full workout in, uh, you know, dress clothes. First time I meet Bill Belichick, I'm doing high knees and jeans and dress shoes. So, I, <laughs> I think I earned a little bit, a little nugget of respect there. Yeah, the yeah. But uh, quite, kind of ridiculous. I didn't know what to feel after that. I was, you know, I made, I remember thinking in my head very clearly. I'm like, I think they're just trying to see how I'm going to react. So I didn't say anything and just did the warm up. Wow. That's yeah. great. That is classic. <laughs> I mean, the one thing that you hope as a, as a young offensive lineman coming to the National Football League is that you have a good offensive line coach for your first experience, you know, uh, being indoctrinated into the National Football League. And you certainly had that, didn't you? Absolutely. Dante Skernecki is actually being inducted, I think, into the Patriots Hall of Fame. Um, what a – I would not be in the league to the to, you know right now if I didn't have his true religion as an early player. Um, he's still uh, a, a, a big mentor in my life. I'm helping my dad coach Marion University. He's the head coach at Marion University of Indianapolis. Huh. And Scar has given us so many resources of how he trains O-line. I'm helping the O-line coach. And just – he's never – Never once hesitated to help me out. He's a very hard coach, very tough, um, but gets the best out of his players and has trained some unbelievable old linemen. I'm very uh, honored to be among that class. When you went in to the Patriots uh, organization as a sixth round pick, 200 and whatever it was, what was your mindset, Ted? I mean, how, how did how did you go in there? What was your what was your thought process? This is your shot, so just go as hard as you can. Do whatever they say. These guys have won it, so obviously they thought you were good enough to be a part of their team, and um, really not – I didn't really think about it too much. It was yep. just going out there and trying to execute what the coaches wanted me to implement and ended up working out. They ended up liking me. I you know, it was high energy like I always am, but this is your shot. You know, I didn't – you know, growing up it was always my dream, but, you know, early on in college I didn't – no one really ever – ranked me I was wasn't very highly regarded I didn't I didn't have like a you know illusions of being a first round pick and I could have never imagined being 30 years old playing football in Cincinnati I it will never be lost on me how grateful I am uh to be here when did you feel like you know what I can do this I mean was there an aha moment or was it something that's kind of built over time or was there anything uh in the early stages of training camp that uh that led you to say to yourself, you know what? I can get this done. Yeah, I think it was just just playing football like I always have. I, yeah. you know, I always thought I was uh, pretty good, um, especially at Garden Center. And yeah. I learned center that year. They taught me center. I, I had not played any center in college. Um, but, yeah, just playing ball and – and taking it one day at a time, it's a, you know, your, your fortunes can change, you know, very, very quickly in this league. So I wasn't – I wasn't banking on anything. I wasn't counting on anything. I had everything I owned in the back of my truck. And, <laughs> well, you know, until I made the team, I didn't unpack it. So I was ready to roll and, and try another shot if it didn't work out there. But was really just taking it one day at a time and – enjoying it. I would say my first, like I'm in the league moment was a cool moment was the fridge full of Gatorade that had every flavor of Gatorade in the locker room. You know, I was like, wow, this is a man. I took a mango. I took a blue, a red. <laughs> so I, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe how many amenities that were available to us as players. So really enjoyed it. And uh, obviously it worked out for the best. So I take it you were uh, unmarried at that time when you had, you know, everything in your truck. You weren't a married man. You were just – you were kind of ready to rock and roll wherever it took you, huh? I was rocking and rolling, and, you know, I was still – I was with my wife, Rachel, at the time. We were not married yet, but we still we're, – we're ready to rock and roll wherever. Yeah. We rock and rolled here right to Cincinnati. We, you know, we made that decision in 15 minutes. and <laughs> Love it. Yeah, we drove up, you know, shortly after we signed last year. So that is part of this business, but – uh feeling great that we're here in Cincinnati. Well, Ted, I'll tell you, congratulations on a very distinguished career and uh, great stories on how it started. Appreciate you uh, relaying all of those to us. Cincinnati's very fortunate to have you, my man. And I, I think, I think big things are coming. Big things are coming. There's no doubt about it. And you know what it takes to get those big things. I think they're coming too, Dave, and we're working hard. Uh, this team is high energy, ready to go. I really love the 
the look in the men's eyes that I've seen in this first week. So very excited to to start this 23 campaign. Dave Lapham at Four Star Logistics bringing you another team to watch. Is that Dave Lapham? These group of brokers really know how to win. Just look at the stats they're putting up. Highest commissions in the industry. Amazing perks for their employees. And I've never seen anything like their training program. No wonder their growth has been so explosive. If you're hungry and driven, this is the team to join Peter. Dave, who are you talking to? First Star Logistics. Opportunity knocking.